Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Alright, in the last episode we defeated the uh, Rockworm and got the Red Moon Crystal, so let's get the hell out of here. I thought you were supposed to be right next to the ship. Belena, sorry to have kept you waiting so long. I hope you weren't too worried about us. I'm so glad you're alright. Did you find the Moon Crystal? <laughs> of course we found it. I knew you could do it. Um, would it be alright if I took a look at it? Well, you guys are idiots. Why couldn't you just say, like, look with your eyes, not with your hands? Wow! So this is one of the legendary moon crystals. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you so much. I'm sure that Lord Galcian will be very pleased. What? What are you talking about? Ha 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 ha! Let me show you. <laughs> Belena, who are you? I change outfits real fast. <laughs> it's a talent. Like her fake name was just like every letter except one exactly the same. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Beleza, the fourth admiral of the Imperial Armada. I specialize in covert operations. You don't need to get your hands bloody to win battles. Sometimes a little trickery goes a long way. You! You tricked us! Belena? Or, um, Beleza? So everything that you said, about your parents, about war, about your childhood, was it all a lie? Did you just say that to get us to trust you? I told you the truth. I never said my father is from Nasser. He was a Valorant soldier and he did die in battle. Years later, I too became a soldier. I want to put an end to all wars so nobody has to go through what I went through. Countries go to war arguing over borders and resources. If the world was united under one rule, there would be no more war. That is why we need the power of the Gigas to make sure no one opposes us. Valua must rule the world. Beleza! No! Don't! Red Gigas! Rekumen! As bearer of the Red Moon Crystal, I command you to awaken and do my bidding! Um, Fina? What did she do? This is bad, right? Recommend. No, she can't be. Goodbye, handsome. Recommend. I command you. Engulf these three in your flames. Boys, Ika, hurry, we must run. Fina, what's going on? Beleza, she... She is summoning Rekumen, the Red Gigas. She's using the power of the Red Moon Crystal to awaken him. She what? I guess we are going to have to run. Aika, Fina, let's get out of here. This ain't good. Is that? Yeah. 
Yes! That is the right Gigas! Rekumen! So those weren't statues in front of the temple! They were its heads! I see you. And it makes me sad. Look at my frown. It's looking at us! Run! Pina, are you all right? Come on, we gotta go. I'm sorry, I tripped. Like a Fina, take cover. us. Something hit it in the head. I can't leave you three alone, can I? Stop docking and get on! Captain! Captain! You came back for us! Hurry! Maybe we can take that thing out in the Little Jack. Admiral Beleza, a ship is rescuing them. Ready the Lynx! I want to make sure they don't escape. Yes, Admiral! I will get your Atari handheld right away. I mean, battleship. <laughs> well, handsome. Now we can see what you're made of. Captain! You came back just in time! I didn't come back for you! My search for Rachnum brought me back to this desert. I wasn't about to watch the three of you get roasted by that... that thing. <laughs> hey, Fina! Get a load of the cabin! I wonder how long he can act like he doesn't care about us. Haha! <laughs> Ika! You really shouldn't tease him like that. Who's acting? I just want to find Rachnum. Brown little brat's always getting me into trouble. Calm down, calm down, Captain. But what would she do? Should we do about that thing? Hmm. Well, let's treat it like a practice run for when I finally do fight Rackman. A thing packs quite a punch. Do not get hit by that beam, no matter what. I don't know if the little Jack can take a direct hit. Aye aye. Aye aye. Let's go. Welcome back. Again. Oh, we got new battle music. Hey, Captain. Do you have any ideas on how to fight this thing? Hmm. You know as much about this thing as I do, boy. Just stay up high and see what he does for now. What cannons do we have? Can't run from it, apparently. Hmm, maybe a 3-inch cannon would be better? I think that would be a little bit better, actually. Instead of just the standard one. See what we should do. I think we're gonna put you on. No, not guard. I'm gonna put you on increm duty. You will have to go on guard. Duty. Actually, not to not guard. Let's do focus. don't need to increm yet. Because this fight actually doesn't last very long. But I would like to get ourselves a lot of uh, spirit. Let's 
see if we can pile on some pressure. So far it's not doing anything, that's good to know. Probably won't do anything until the red turns. Did 130? Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Yeah, looks like it's turns coming, ready to hurt us. Well, likely it missed. Because it seems like whenever, like in the cutscene, when it gets hit, it just misses. Yeah, we did it! We knocked it off balance. Yeah, but, well, it doesn't look like we did any damage to it, though. But it seems like the same strategy should work. Like, apply the three-inch cannon during the turn that's going to get attacked. Put you on focus duty, I'm gonna put you on focus duty. I'm gonna put you on cannon duty since you do more damage. So yeah, if you hit it twice, like during its red turn, you're more likely to dodge the red ray. Unless by some disaster it gets to use the red ray first. to worry much because it seems red rays its only attack and it can do nothing else as long as we don't take any damage we should be good for what's coming up so I remember this actually having two boss battles and this part can be pretty off at least the second fight Looks like we can use our harp. No, we can't use the harpoon cannon. That's the next turn. Same strategy as before. Just keep doing what we've been doing. I don't know if we can absolutely find ourselves busted if one of our attacks will miss. So far it has not happened. I wonder if you can even miss Recommend. Just look at the size of it. How do you miss a target that not only is big, but moves very slow? Is it just me? Is it getting all its health back? Because we've hit it a few times, but it feels like we've done nothing. I don't know how much more we can do this. It just feels like they're going through the motions. just gets so repetitive.
Okay, it looks like we do have use of the Harpoon Cannon. That's excellent. I don't think we need much else, either. I mean, what are the odds we're going to need something else? Like, have a Sub Cannon and the Harpoon Cannon at the same time. Which I don't even think is possible. Ready for you. You're not gonna like this. That didn't even do a thousand. Holy crap! We got through like one of its necks. You can just press a button so you can like advance the turns faster. Like I can understand that they wanted to go with like the cinematic feel for it, at the expense of you know like sometimes boring you to tears. I don't know how long we can keep this up. It just feels like we're only prolonging our own debts. He's gotta have a weakness. you really do in this situation. I guess the heads? Let's try attacking its heads. We may get in the get hit in the process, but we need to take a chance. Let's bring the little jack in closer. I don't think I can use the Harpoon Cannon twice, can I? Just don't think that's gonna be possible. You can't seriously use Red Ray on us twice, can I? going. Also, how the hell are we still going? Could blocking even be enough if we get hit by the ray? That's what I'm worried about. I think Red Ray is a super attack, so it can't be dodged. Oh, that's a chunk right there. Damn, nothing! We got in as close as we could, but our cannons did almost nothing to it. It's no use, boy. The only thing we're managing to do is damage our own ship. We can't continue fighting like this for much longer. We must retreat for now. Get us out of range of his attacks, boy. We need to think of a new strategy for now. You're right, Captain. I suppose we got no other choice. Well then, full speed ahead. Get out of range of that thing's attacks. Why couldn't we use that option sooner? 
Nothing is working. If we keep fighting it head on, we're going to lose. Hey, Fina, can you think of a way to stop it? Key can still make their own decisions. They only obey commands given to them by the ones who awaken them. Until Beleza commands it to stop, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. So if something were to happen to Beleza... I got it! I know how to stop that thing! Attack Beleza's ship? If we can stop her, we can force her into calling off the Gigas. <laughs> you got it! That's a good idea. Either way, we'll last longer against her than we will against that thing. Alright, full rudder. Target, Beleza's ship. All hands to battle stations. Let's go! Aye aye, Captain. Famous <laughs> last words. Cause I remember playing this back in the day. The fight against Beleza is even worse. I gotta take on the Lynx. Ha <laughs> ha Meet my flagship, the Lynx. Now, I shall show you the true power of the Imperial Armada. My main cannon will take care of that little ship of yours. Okay, I think the first thing that Vise will need to do... Do I want to start attacking? Maybe I just want to be more on the defensive. I think we'll get on the offensive at the end. Excuse me. As for you... I'm going to set us up with an Incrim. I don't know how much health we get from repair kits. But I think that's better than nothing. Dragma, do you have Incrim? Oh god, I'm gonna have you use Incrim instead. Or better yet, maybe I should have Dragma attack? So let's change it back. Um, what I said I was gonna do again, I'm just gonna focus. Set up some repair kits over here. And then have you attack. Actually, I'm going to use a 3-inch cannon. Because I kind of want to make sure we have more spirit. Oh, we can carry it over to this turn, too. That's not a bad idea. We're gonna need the extra defense because uh, the links can be pretty rough. Especially since it also encrimmed. How this fight can be really bad is that, like, we can get two hits in one turn, the links can get up to three. And to make it worse, it has magic cannon. So it can cast spells against us offensively. Only 4,000? Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. Oof. Yeah, that's a rough one. Oh, we lost our target? Oh, that sucks. Sacris would be better. Because the heal is up to 8,000. So 
think we'll do that for now. Probably not want, don't want to go on too much of the offense just yet. Good one. Ooh, hopefully our uh, healing goes first. Oh, thank Christ. That would have been it for us otherwise. Oh, the Lynx Torpedo. So yeah, that just like, uh, it's more of a delayed attack. Think of it like Dig from Pokemon. So you can have, like, a, a magic cannon and a torpedo hit. Or even, like, you can have up to three attacks hit you at the same time. I've seen that happen before, and it sucks. Damn! Lady Admiral's good. It's almost as like she can read our every move. Wise! I can't find any openings! Her defense is too good! What should we do? Let's turn around and try to catch her off guard. Hmm. The ship's quicker than it looks. They may have surprised me this time, but I always have a backup plan. Preparation is one of the keys to victory, Ansem. Okay, well, this is a much better turn than we've had before. So I think this will be good for now. Let's try this. Again, I want to at least get a couple hits on her. Nice. Yep, she got sub cannons as well. So yeah, sub cannons, regular cannons, magic cannons. Torpedoes. The only thing she doesn't have is a dinosaur. Oh god, we're almost dead already. Good. I can't find any openings. Boy, we need to get into a good position to fire the harpoon cannon. Let's wait and see what she does. Lady Beleza, the enemy vessel is continuing along its present course. <laughs> What's wrong, handsome? Couldn't think of anything to do. If you're not going to do anything, I will. Ooh, this can get a little dire already. I just know it. I think we're gonna have to set up some evasive action for sure. At least you're fast. We need it because uh, it's way too low of HP. I think I might want to heal twice. Let's try this. Oh no. Root! Oh my god, I gotta do the fight all over again. That we didn't have before. I'm 
I might be better off just healing twice. Like, use two repair kits on the same turn. And that might put us in a better spot when we finally use the harpoon cannon. We're gonna need that. We're gonna even come close to beating her. At least I got into this turn at a much better spot than before. The only disadvantage is I had to hit her less times. You kind of have to do that if you need to live. Set up the Increm again. I might have to do the same, because mine wore off too. This isn't fair! Why don't you just sit still like everyone else does? How did you expect us to hit her with a harpoon cannon like this? So we can head straight upward, or we can bring the little jack to a complete stop. I think we're actually going to bring it to a complete stop. She won't expect this. Look at that, now we have the chance to use the Harpoon Cannon. So you're gonna do it. Before that happens, you gotta set up an Incrim. I think we'll be alright health-wise. Just in case. We'll put this over here. Drachma can attack. Us survive a bit longer. Excellent. Oh, nice. We got away. Let's see how much we can do with this. Oh, I think we got her! That's why you set up an Increm. Get fucked, Beleza. And look at that, we got a Captain Stripe, a Magic Cannon, and a 3-inch Blaster. Ika, Signal Beleza's ship! Tell them that we will attack if they don't cut off the Gigas. Yeah! Aye, aye, that! No. All we need is for that Lady Admiral to listen to our demands. <laughs> don't worry, Captain. Beleza is not the kind of person that would needlessly sacrifice the lives of her crew. I'm sure she'll call off the Gigas. <sighs> Beleza, please! Guys, look! The Gigas! There was a ply from Beleza's ship. We have called off the Gigas. We are making an emergency landing. I repeat, we have called off the Gigas. We are making an emergency landing. We did it! Sorry we couldn't find a good parking spot. Sand is the best we could do. You may have won the battle, but you are far from winning the war. There are five crystals left. The Valuan Armada never makes the same mistake twice, 
you shall not defeat us again. And we won't make the same mistake of underestimating you again either. We'll get those crystals. Fina, where should we go next? Southwest of Nasser, beyond the South Ocean. There's a continent under the green moon. Really? There's a continent on the other side of the South Ocean? Yes. The green crystal should be there. Huh. That's the continent of Ixataka. Our soldiers are already there. Besides, the South Ocean is a strong headwind. You'll never make it across with that tiny ship of yours. No need to worry about that. We're taking your ship's engine. With that much power, we can get across South Ocean in no time. Hey, I'm part two. What? Then how am I going to get back? <coughs> we all decided you should go back on foot. You trick us, we take your engine. I think we're even now. <laughs> what was that saying? Only those who have walked through the desert can surely know its size. You want me to... walk? Huh. Well... I guess I don't have much of a choice. I never actually thought I would surely know the size of the desert. Hey, handsome. You win this time, but Valua is more powerful than you can imagine. And the trip to Ixataka is long and perilous. The chance that you'll survive long enough to get there is pretty slim. Are you sure you still want to go? You still have time to reconsider. Real sailors aren't afraid of the unknown. I want to see the world. I'm not going to rest until I've left my mark on it. And I won't let anything or anyone else stand in my way. I understand. You're rash and impulsive. I hope you survive long enough for us to meet again. I don't think she likes me for real. You know, even though we just took her engine and just left her stranded. There, we got the red moon crystal. Again. Alright, I think before we go to South Ocean, we might want to do a little bit of side stuff. It looks like we picked up a magic cannon from the Lady Admiral. Using this, we'll be able to fire cannonballs charged with magical energy. Just like Beleza was doing, right? That's great! Buys, did you hear that? We should really put this thing to good use. Be careful though, boy. Using the magic cannon uses up MP just like normal magic. So don't go too crazy with it. Alright, so I think instead of a standard cannon, well, I guess this is good. A secondary cannon for the little jack. Okay, we should replace the... I guess we can... We don't need three standard cannons. Let's do it like this. I think that would be good. For now. And we didn't get anything new for equipment. Oh, I meant to go to items. So I want to use the Captain Stripe. That's much better. Also, we should probably go back to Maramba so we can go to the, you know, the ship parts shop. Yeah, where the hell do you get to Maramba? Oh, okay, straight left of here. Got it. Wait a minute, did I get an ex excavation arm for Drachma? I forgot we got some new weaponry. Yeah, the excavation arm, believe it or not, is better than the beak hand. I would not have thought of that, actually. Like, why do you have nothing equipped here? Oh, the flame mantle's actually better? 
Well, it's a good thing I did get another one. I guess I can put this on for now. I think the reason they just unequipped everything off of him, just in case he had on an accessory that was really, really good after he ditched us. So you know what? Fair game, I suppose. Well, what was I gonna use against them? I guess. I guess green would be good. We do need some more green. I don't know what else we fought these. I'm gonna keep you on silver, though. That weapon of his looks very weird now. It's like something you'd set a camera on. Or at least we had the advantage. So we didn't have to sit through their turns. That was fun. Now we gotta drop off some moonfish. And I know there's still some uh, wanted fights we gotta do. And we still got that angel of death. So we should save. It has been quite a while. I just want to see if there's anything else over here. Of course there ain't. Yeah, now we can actually buy some things for our ship. We couldn't before. Any changes on the wanted list? No, I'm still rupee we gotta worry about. Wait! The, te the temple, that counts as a discovery, right? Yes. I almost forgot about that. Alright, what do you got? Okay, I did want to get a torpedo, so I'll buy that. So I think standard cannon, 3-inch cannon, 3-inch blaster, light torpedo is good. Okay, heavy cannon's an upgraded version, but it has lower speed? Is that speed or spirit? I'll use it anyway. Okay, steel decks would actually be better than what I have. I'll buy two of those. A turbo kit be good for the end to place the engine cover. This is only for magic defense. You know, we'll, we'll buy two. In case we run into a ship that likes to use spells over anything. Bombs may not be bad. However, I want to... What the hell? Deluxe kits are pretty dirt cheap. We'll buy 22 of those. You know, I'll buy 11 of these, too, in case we ru nearly run out. Apple Wax. That'd be good for improving attack and defense for a couple turns. Wouldn't turn that down.
Alright, I think before we leave... Yo, that person wasn't there before. Could that be Rupee? Possibly. I mean, it, Rupee was, like, in the Nasser area. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was staying in Maramba. I'm gonna check on equipment. Did the wares change? I know that's a thing that can happen. Uh, hasn't really changed, but I'll, I'll get a nomadic veil. Somebody might find a use for it. Maybe a sandstorm ring too? It would be very darude of us if we didn't get it. Alright, I'll shut up now. Except I won't, because how would I can be a Let's Player if I was quiet all the time? Anyway, I think it's a good time to stop here. And in the next episode, we'll probably take care of some, like, odds and ends. Like, for instance, I say we go back to around Sailor's Island to look for that Angel of Death. And maybe we can deal with a rupee on the way back before we go to South Ocean. See everyone, thanks for watching.